So why did I become a county councillor? I wanted to be the voice of the people who either don't want to or can't voice their concerns for themselves and to be able to put their voices into places where decisions were made or action could be taken. Um, I probably was quite naive, like a lot of people, of thinking it would be much easier to achieve things than it really is, but I think that's the same with a lot of things in life. I've been a borough councillor for this area since 2002 and I was always very interested in sort of county council services, particularly sort of children's services, looked after children and adult services and social care and so on. And I thought actually, you know, now's quite a, quite a good time in my life to actually dedicate to sort of public service really. I became a town councillor in 2011 uh, and then county in 2014 and there's a big change and a big difference. They work very well together as roles. Uh, as a county councillor, you've got a much bigger overview on areas like education, highways, um, children's services, which obviously are very much part of my world now. Um, and you're able to get involved in much bigger projects to bring into your ward and constituency. My main thing is meeting people. It's actually getting out there, meeting the parishes, meeting the communities, finding out what's going on in my area seeing how I can help them, but also, more and more this is happening, is actually just linking people up together, or different organisations, or who can help each other. So it's not always what we as a council can do, or councillors can do, but is making sure they know the right people to contact or getting to touch with. It involves engaging with your communities that you represent, listening to them, making sure their points of view are heard, and communicating about what the county council does and how it can help so communications is really important and part of that is attending residence associations, attending parish council meetings and where necessary holding special meetings. So it is really working and involving your community that you represent. Number one for me is championing your community, uh, the people that actually elected to put you into County Hall um, to serve uh, in their, in their interests. Um, there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of reading, a lot of emails, but my, my, my main joy is being out there talking to people because you're, in, you're elected for four years and I always think I'm trying to sort of get everything done in, a load of things done in those four years and the, and the year just seems to go so quickly. I think actually being, uh, being, a, being a borough councillor and a county councillor, we haven't got that much time, you know. Being married, I've got five grandchildren, and I like to see them more often, obviously, you know. But um, with the meetings that in county council, we start about 10, finish about 2 or 3. So some mornings I can pick the, pick the children up and take them to school. If not, vice versa, I can, I can do the afternoons. No two days are the same. Some weeks will be quiet, some weeks will be busy. Some weeks will have more meetings than others. Some weeks will have no meetings. Uh, meetings are on a scheduled timetable, so you can put those in your diary. And so diarised events are fine, but when you have sudden things arising, well, you just have to try and make time and be flexible around it. I was lucky in my work, I could be flexible. Probably the most difficult bit is um, the initial bit, just getting to understand how a council works, trying to understand local government finance, and particularly something like the county, it's a very large authority, it has a wide remit, so actually kind of getting under its skin and understanding is quite a challenge. What often happens is you get a group of people in a community where they want something, but then there's an equally large, equally vocal part of the community who don't want it. And it's actually balancing those two things and trying to get people to agree with what would be the best thing for the community. Well, most of my time I've been an opposition councillor, um, and therefore one isn't in control of the decision making. By persistence and by talking to people and persuading them of, of uh, particular courses of action, you can get progress in certain directions. I think you need to be interested in people and the problems that people have, I and mean, obviously in particular the problems that people have with the council. You know, in a small way, I just want to use, you know, my influence as their elected representative, you know, trying to support them to get some funding to do the amazing work they do in our community, which of course, in turn, is actually helping the County Council because we all know the County Council hasn't got a limitless pot of money. Obviously, I'm here at West Worthing Baptist Church. I hold a weekly surgery here um, every Saturday morning from 10.30. You know, residents from Tarrant can just come in, they can just drop in. They don't need to make an appointment. They can just drop in, have a bit of a chat over a coffee. We've got a lovely coffee bar here. 
right, I do sit on a select committee, a scrutiny type committee. Um, I also sit on the corporate parenting panel, which I, is very dear to my heart. It's basically um, banging the drum for the children that the council is responsible for looking after. Them. I'm, I'm a safeguarding uh, champion for West Sussex, uh, as well as I'm in planning and children and young people select committee. So I do look, work with our charities. I'm also the Hayward City Town Mayor. So I do in, involve a lot of charities actually and voluntary organisations uh, to achieve our goals and, and to help them as well. I always say that West Sussex County Council doesn't do anything on its own. It's all done in partnership communication. I think there are many achievements, but what I find is amazing is just working with my communities. And I do go on about that because Together, we can achieve an awful lot more. And we found that uh, it's not just for a county council to tell people what's going to happen. It's for them to work together to achieve. And indeed, we are standing here at Bosom. And one of the great things we did was uh, working together with various bodies to rebuild the seawall. That was absolutely amazing to be able to achieve that. Meeting people I think is absolutely vital and you've got to be a person who enjoys uh, interacting with others um, and I think getting things done, um, bringing forward uh, ideas and scrutinising decisions, uh, that is a really important element of the job. Be willing to go to parish councils and interact at, uh, at all levels within that parish. They have to give a, a lot, quite a lot of time and they have to be able to work comfortably uh, with their employer for example if they're employed. Um, and they have to recognise that you know it isn't a nine to five job. I've certainly been out at ten o'clock in the evening clearing gullies, um, and uh, you know it's that sort of approach. It's a hands-on as well as uh, you know uh, making sure you do what's uh, what's right for your residents. We are having to think of new, innovative ways of working, uh, of thinking, of doing things, uh, which is not a bad thing. The biggest achievement for me personally is now drawing to a close on the duelling of the A259. Um, it's been a long slog and there's been a lot of partnership working with other county councillors uh, that are going on to the A259 and I think that um, the day they cut the ribbon and opened the new dual carriageway on the A259, Little Hampton to Amring, that will be my biggest achievement as a county councillor. Well, I got made the Deputy Cabinet Member for Children, so that's really been fantastic because, you know, it's all about, for me, it's about the next generation. It's, it's really rewarding. You make it what you want to. It's, it's really not about you. It's about the people that you serve, and I really absolutely, you know, I think the best that you do is for your community. So, that, you know, it, it's important that we do get, I mean, young county councillors and young and young borough councillors and even parish councillors, I mean, please come in, you know, if you can, come in when you're young. Absolutely rewarding is uh, when you actually have an issue uh, and you get it completed and done and you go to your residence and say, look, I've done it for you. Uh, it is rewarding, absolutely rewarding uh, to be a councillor. Uh, it's time consuming, yes, and you have to be dedicated. Um, the most important thing is to be yourself. Don't try and become somebody else. Don't try and copy someone else. You are best if you're true to yourself, follow your own inclinations and have an independent streak in, inside your um, questioning and challenging of what's going on and try not to follow a party line in my view. Do try it. It's the most wonderfully rewarding job that you'll ever do. You'll meet some amazing people, you'll be inspired at what they can do, and even more, the chance of making a real change to people's lives and to your communities is second to none, and that's the best part of the job. It, it is a big commitment, but you know, anyone who wants to do it, it really is worthwhile just to see you know, the lives that you can change in that small way just by supporting the work they do in our community. It's just absolutely priceless for me.